Well, good afternoon, everyone. And it is a good afternoon, finally. Uh, after a very long, horrendous week last week, I made it a point to start a new week fresh and and happy and positive. And uh, I finally got my plants. I've been expecting these boxes since last week, Thursday afternoon. They finally came today. And we are going to do a fantastic unboxing before I open these. <clears throat> or while I'm opening them, I just want you all to know um, these plants are from a very, very good friend of mine, Suzette from Suzette's Gardens. Uh, we're not just YouTube friends, we're, we're friends outside of YouTube. And um, Suzette knows a lot about me and my, my life and <clears throat> my ups and downs and my good times and bads, as they say. And last year she sent me this huge box of plants, cuttings and things, and now this year she's doing it again. And Um, she has a lot of plants and I have quite a few myself but I don't have a lot of the real nice ones um, not being able to get out and I'm really not real good with the uh, ordering on the internet so you know <clears throat> so she takes it upon herself to root cuttings from her plants and send them to me and this is a lot here there's a lot there's two big boxes so I'm gonna get at it right away uh, these plants have been in the mail for today will be a day eight or nine and <coughs> they got hung up in Michigan uh -oh. But they're here finally. And then today, my <clears throat> meal normally comes between, usually between 11.30 and 12.30, sometimes quarter to 1. Uh, at the very latest I've ever seen them was 1.30. It is now, I believe, past 2.30. So I really was thinking they weren't going to come, even though the UPS thing said it was on its way. I was having my doubts here. In fact, I was on the phone with Suzette when they came, so we had a kind of a, oh, man. Oh. Oh. I hope you can see this. How beautiful. It's a little worse for wear. There's some dried edges, but um, yeah, I think the, the new shoot that was coming through might be. <clears throat> That's all right. She's fixable. This is the uh, Begonia Sophia. I do not have this on. And I'm going to get her water right away. The paper towel that she's got around it is still damp, so that's good. Damp with a couple dry spots. It's not <clears throat> probably as wet as it should have been, but there's little roots on there. I hope you can see that. So I think she's going to be okay. I'm going to grab my water jug. 
I didn't want to pour the water ahead of a time because the um, this is my workspace and I've been working at this table. And like I said, these plants were supposed to be here on Thursday, so I had to keep putting stuff away. So I just thought, well, I'm just going to wait till till they come because since I'm going through all that again. But they're here now. Now she's going to get a good drink of water. And hopefully, I think she will survive. She doesn't look dead. She doesn't feel dead. I think she'll be okay. okay. She really packed these very nicely and they were all snug so even if the post office used the box for a football it still it still made it Oh my god, another begonia. Is this the Lursernia? Yeah. Oh, forgive me, people, for my grunting. Unfortunately, I can't stand for very long, and I can't get my arm up very high without pain, so if you hear me grunting, that's why. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm, I've really come to, to absolutely love these uh, cane begonias. Um, I'm thinking I want to get every kind that there is and just fill up a whole room with them because they're just that beautiful. <clears throat> and this... I, I hope you... I wonder if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Nope. Oh. You can't. Let me move my chair. If I can get up a little closer. There. That should be better. <clears throat> Yeah, this is the Lucerna Begonia. I have one of these, but it doesn't look as nice as this. In fact, it's from a cutting she sent me last year. You can see the roots on there. I mean, she looks a little limp and she might lose these leaves, but you know what? This plant grows so fast. And she's already got a pretty good root system on there so I'm not too worried about it I, and even if I lose the original leaves eventually the new ones will will grow I'm just looking at this other one <laughs> if I didn't know better I would say that the shoot on the first one just opened more I think that might be possible. And she got a good drink, huh? Wouldn't that be something? Okay. What has she got here? That looks like a whole bunch of them in here. Oh, paper towels. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, the boat lily. Oh, I remember when she did the um, the video on these. She was cutting them from her mother plant, which is huge. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. There's a lot of pieces here, and 
I need to wash these off and then get them in water. So I'm going to just keep keep moving on until, because some of these I'm going to have to take the, the leaves off. And this is a pretty hardy plant, so I'm going to set this aside. And I will do that when I'm done unboxing. Okay. This one looks like it's in a pot. This is so exciting. It's like Christmas. And I was really, really longing for a new plant to the point where I almost asked my husband to take me last week to uh, Lowe's to see if I could just find something that was interesting that I didn't already have because you know how us plant people are and I was just getting to the point where I when these didn't come when I was expecting them I was so sad and I just said I just I really want to get a new plant and I I stifled my urges and said to myself Linda you're an adult you can handle disappointment and you need to get over it and you got all kinds of plants coming from your friend. You don't need to buy another one. So I did. I waited. And look at how adorable this is. Wow. That is so cute. She sent me a couple cuttings from this last year and I killed them. Actually, I don't know if I killed them. I thought I killed them. And then I had two little strands, and I stuck them in a little Coke glass um, with some water, and they started to root. And then I added dirt little by little, and I have about five or six little leaves in that glass that are that are green. So I'm not giving up on that one, but this is so cute, so cute. I don't know. I just don't even know what to say. Um, and this is the uh, Ruby Cascade, I believe is the name of this. In case I didn't say. Okay. What else? It's like going under the Christmas tree and pulling out another present. Except I had a brother and a sister, so... Those presents weren't all for me, but these are all for me. So this is even better than Christmas. Oh, look at Oh, man. And I think she was, this is the one. Is this the one you were worried about, the Burl Marks? Yep. And look at, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. Her leaves feel healthy. This is a really healthy leaf. It almost feels like plastic. They're good. And it's got new shoots coming in the bag. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm going to leave her in this bag until I'm done. Oh, because I don't know if I have enough glasses here. And that one is not having any issues, so in case I need it for something else. Susie and I joke a lot about the, you know, we live about, I don't know, one husband said eight hours, the other one said six hours away from each other, and uh, we talked about getting together a few times, and it just hasn't happened yet, and the other thing is, we'll be on the phone, and she'll need help with something, or she'll need a second opinion, or I will be, and I'll say, could you just run over quick and give me your, your thoughts on this. <laughs> or could you come over and give me a hand with this one plant? It's too big for me to handle or whatever. And 
she'll say, yeah, I'll be right over or whatever, and then, and then you get sad after because you realize that it's not going to happen. And in all reality, Susie and I have never met in person. Um, but I feel like I've known her all my life. She's, she's really a personable kind of person to begin with, and uh, we've been talking for a very long time. And we, we talk about everything under the sun. Our kids, our husbands. Most of it's good, but... You know, when you're married, as long as she and I are, have done it, it, you have a few quirky things. and It's fun to have some someone to share, share them with and vent with once in a while. Because we know that... I know she loves her husband very much, and she, she knows that, too, about me, so... That's, that's, when you have good friends, you know, and you can, you can do that with, and you don't have to worry about that they're going to take something the wrong way, or say something to somebody that's going to get you in trouble, or, uh, wow, she really did a wonderful job of packing. Oh, oh. This is my Meekins, or Mikins, I don't know. I, it's pronounced either way, and I say it both ways. This, wow, this is huge. Suzette. This is, looks like about a third of your plant. I thought you were going to send me some cuttings. And look at the size of these leaves. Mm. I love this plant. I love, love, love this plant. I have a smaller version of this from a cutting she sent me last year, and I did manage to get it to grow finally, um, but it doesn't look as nice as this one, but that's okay. I'm going to keep this one and give my other one to my daughter because she's uh, very much into plants now, and she really liked this one. There was a time when she didn't like any kind of hanging, dangling plants, but she's she's come a, a long way. She's now... She's getting very interested in them, and she thought this plant was beautiful. So I did tell Susie, I, I actually asked her if if she would mind if I did that, and she was said, absolutely not, go go ahead, of course. So, wow. That's... Uh, I know right where I'm going to put her to, and I'm going to have to put something on my wall to hang her up, but she, I know where she's going, where I can see her every day, all day. She's not going in the dining room, she's going in the living room. Mm. Okay, I got a little dirt falling out here, but I'm going to just stick her in here. And I got a lot of pots ready to go, so I can get these planted up tonight. It's gotten an awful late already, so I'm not sure if this is going to be airing today. I hope I can get it done. Wow, there's just no bottom to this box. And that other one's even bigger. Holy cow, Suzette. What on earth? Ooh. This is the Florida Beauty. Oh, beauty she is. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Oh, it takes my breath away. Look at the leaves. I know a lot of you plant moms and dads have this already and, and have had for a while, but I haven't, and I am so excited. Wow, look at that size of those leaves. And she's got a new shoot about to open. <clears throat> oh, 
Wow. And nothing, not even a brown edge. It made it. Well, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, when you figure what we go through for our plants at home and in our nurseries, and then, you know, like for me anyway, if I forget to turn my lights on for a while and, you know, I don't usually forget. It's usually I'm just, I, I can't, I, I can't get at them until I'm, uh, for whatever reason, my, my medications and what have you, and I can't get at them right away in the morning. And uh, sometimes it's like, I don't know, 9.30, 10, as late as 10.30, before I got the lights on. And I'm panicking because they should really have no less than 12 hours of light a day. All of my plants, or I should say most of my plants. So when that happens, I get really scared. And I think these plants, conversely, these plants have been in a box, a dark box, in and out of different temperatures since a week ago today, Monday. So today would be the eighth day. And look at, they're just, except for a little bent leaf there, which is completely understandable, it's, it looks like it, you can't even tell that it was chipped. And that too is looking really good, so I'm not gonna, put that in the vase yet. I want to save that for plants like this that need to go in immediately. And then I'll figure something out. I'll have to get some of my regular glasses. Oh, this is... Oh, the variegated dyschidia. Dyschidia. Oh, that's a hard word to say when you don't have your front teeth. Okay. I'm going to pull the top of this out because... I want you to see the leaves on this in case you don't know what that is. These are beautiful. I absolutely love dainty plants, dainty leaves. I like other ones too. I don't get me wrong. I mean, I love my my ficus elastica and you know my other big leaf plants, but this these really capture my heart and. Especially the hanging ones. I've, I've got a real love for the hanging, cascading hanging plants. Isn't that pretty? And I think she needs to get in water. Now she came out of soil, so I, I should probably put her back in soil right away. Oh, yeah. She's got a lot of roots. So I don't think I will put her in water. I'm going to put her in soil. And give her a good drink. But I'm going to put her back in the bag for now. So she doesn't dry out anymore. Okay. Uh, Alright, I think that's for this box, yep. We got peanuts here. Paper towel. Uh, my physical therapist would be so proud of me today. Stretching that arm and reaching out farther than is comfortable. But that's how you get better. You gotta push it a little bit every day. Okay. Look at the size of this box. I have a box I'm getting ready for to send to her too, but it's it's not all plants. She just doesn't need anything that I have. There, I have a few things that she wanted a cutting of, and I'm going to be sending those out so soon. I'm, I was rooting them. Um, and unfortunately, I, 
I've had quite a number, well, not quite a number, but a handful of people that have expressed an interest in getting a cutting from me. And I have to let you know that it's very difficult for me to get to a post office. So, and there's a lot going on in my family right now. So the one person who I would be asking to, to help me get to that post office is taking care of, she's a caregiver for her mom who has uh, cancer. So it's it's been, it's not easy for me to do what I want to do. But, If that changes, I would be more than happy to trade with other people and or, or not even trade but just send you a cutting. I have no problem doing that. I really I would really love to share with others. And maybe someday in the future here I'll be able to do that. She has really got this pack nicely, i got to say. Wow, look at that. Look at how she's got that pack. Can you see that? Yeah. I mean, there's no way this is going to even get ruined. It's not even moving. Got these in there for extra support. In case they step on the box, which sometimes it looks like they do. Look at this, please. I gotta get this out of here. Oh, dang. Bear with me, friends. Just bear with me. I gotta set this down. <clears throat> oh, and I forget the name of it. Talk on it. Why can't I think of the name of it? I know Susie, you're in the background yelling the name, but I can't hear you. Oh, can you guys see? She feels good. Um, she's kind of wrapped up there too. I think I'm going to leave her too until I get done here. I, I'm really just not sure. I'm going to have to call her and ask her what to do with this one. I'm not sure if I should put this in water or put it in dirt. But I will find out. I'm just to put on the floor.
<clears throat> oh, this is the Philodendron Bloody Mary. This has got the, the red stems and the red leaves. And this came out of soil, so I'm going to plant this. I don't know. Not sure if I should put this in water first or not. I am going to open all these and then I'm going to pause and give my friend a call and ask her what she thinks. And then I'm going to get them planted up. The ones that I should and the ones that should go into water. Because I really don't think at this point, just a few more <laughs> minutes are going to matter after all this. <clears throat> I mean, there are some that it's obvious they need to get in water immediately, like the, like the, uh, begonia, the Sophia begonia. Ooh, lemon lime, philodendron, <clears throat> she is beautiful, and I believe Suzette's got a huge plant like this. It's gorgeous. I don't know if it's lemon lime or neon. I forget the name. Um, but oh, it's so pretty. It is so nice to look at something different. My plants have, I haven't gotten any new plants in quite a while. And as much as I love my plants, you know, sometimes you just, you need a change, you know. break anything. Boy, you really had a lot of, went through a lot of work. Susie, you went through an awful lot of work to pack these. Oh, my goodness. grown such so fond of these any kind of ripsalis I, I used to not like these and <clears throat> I remember seeing them on uh, what's the name of that one Jewel I love Jewel Lynn she was one of the first people I used to watch on YouTube a, a couple years ago and um, she would always gravitate towards these ripsalis and I, I remember thinking to myself Gosh, those are really spindly looking and, I don't know, kind of icky. I just didn't get the, I didn't get it. And the more I saw these, the more they started to grow on me. And then when I saw them in person, I was like, you know, that's kind of different. I, I think maybe I can understand why she likes these now. And now, it's like two years later, and I absolutely am in love with the Ripsalis family. And any kind and every kind. I love, love, love them. Which is odd for me because I'm I'm not usually attracted to this type of I'm the I'm the gal that um when I get aerial roots on my my uh monsteras, I have to cut them off because they give me the creeps. And I think we finally figured out what that was why that was. There was a, a movie, I mean a show on many oh god, eons ago I was probably in my late teens, and I'm 66, so that's that's eons ago, and <clears throat> uh, it was the out. It was either the Outer Limits, yeah, I think it was the Outer Limits, or the Twilight Zone. One of those, one of those crazy shows that they used to have on, and where the plants came to life and they were eating people, and I don't know for some reason that just stuck with me and they looked a lot like the aerial roots only they had a head on them and you know they showed this all these plants coming to life and all these things swinging kind of like the the trees in the Wizard of Oz anybody remember that 
when they started throwing apples at Dorothy and everybody. And I don't know, it just, I know I'm weird, but it just stuck in my head. And I, I think that's, and that's what those aerial roots reminded me of. So I know a lot of people like them. Susie's one of them. She, she loves the, the quirky looking roots from the, even my, um, I'm staring at my uh, uh, kangaroo paw fern on my other wall. And it gets these goofy roots that climb out the side of the pot. And I've gotten over it enough that I can handle those because I love the plant. But if you go back, you'll see there's a, I have a video where my granddaughter was uh, in it and she came over to help me pull it out from its corner and, and pull the, cut the, cut those off. Those aerial roots were like four and a half, five feet long. <laughs> they were really giving me the creeps. I said, I got to get those off of there. So I did. And everybody was laughing at me, but that's okay. I laugh at myself all the time, so I don't care. But, I'm, yeah, you know, these are, they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I know Susie had these outside, and that helps bring on that color. And for those of you who are not real, you know, well-versed in, in plants or in succulents or cactus, the way most of them get their color is to stress them out. If you get them in real bright light or you and you kind of withhold on the watering, not to the point of where you're you know, making them sick and die, but that's what gives them their color. Who would have thought? And the first time I heard that, I thought, well, that just sounds mean. <laughs> you're de just deliberately withholding water so that they turn red. That, you know, there's something not quite right about that, but that is how they get their color. So I think they, they probably lose their color in the winter, but... I'm so happy to have this this one, and I apologize, I can't lift my arm up here to point this out, but we're the one with the flat leaves, and I forget the name of it. I don't know if she's got it written on there, probably not. But <clears throat> I ordered two of those, I ordered one of those from a reputable greenhouse, and I got two little leaves, and they were so thin and frail, and they still are, by the way, they never did get thick and healthy looking, they're just, the plant is producing, I think it got two new leaves since I had it, and I've had it for since uh, March. Um, so I'm going to maybe try to take this apart and add these to the ones I already have, but we'll see. I'm not sure that I want to disrupt these roots because they look pretty entangled to me. I might just leave this all in one pot because it looks nice like that. So we'll see. We'll see. But, wow. Wow. Man, this is like I don't know what to say here. It's almost like going to a greenhouse and buying a bunch of plants and coming home and looking at them. These aren't cuttings. These are plants. My goodness. Okay, hang in there. It's not that big a deal. It's just dirt. And that brings to mind a little side story, I should tell you. I probably already did. I've had people correct me when I call the dirt, dirt because it's soil and apparently in some people's opinion there is a difference between dirt and soil and there might be I don't know but you know for the purposes of the video I'm not trying to be politically correct here so if I say dirt instead of soil please don't judge me and that came you know when I was a little girl my grandma came over on the boat from Germany and I spent a lot of time with her she was the sweetest lady. I mean, they just don't come any sweeter than her. And she had a little bit of a German accent, but not too bad. And she, she I would go over by her house, and she bought me a new Sunday dress. And that was my Sunday go to meeting dress. We didn't. We were not allowed to play in our, our play outside in our Sunday clothes. So she she I had it on, and we got home from church, and she said, "Now you got to go home and take that and change." into your play clothes, she said, because you dare not soil your dress. And she used that terminology so many times it really stuck in my head. You you shouldn't instead of dare not. You dare not do this or you dare not do that. And she used soil, not dirt. She didn't say go home and change your dress so you don't get it dirty. She said you have to go home and change your dress so you don't soil it. So you guys do what you want with that story, but I mean, there you go, right? Is what 
Was it dirt or was it soil? I don't know. And does it matter? Nope. Not one tiny item. But possibly in the maybe in the in the growing world where people are um, raising plants and cultivating and crossbreeding, maybe maybe there is a difference. I don't know. But for our purposes, it's not. I don't know. Oh. We got a few, few, few yellow leaves here, but look at the, let's, oh, this is the Cebu Blue. Look at this clump she sent me. Susie, this is like a full plant. My goodness, girl. Well, I'm definitely going to have to get these in pots and get them going and share some cuttings with my kids, with my girls. If it wasn't for Susie, I don't know what I would do. I'm, I'm so grateful for her. I'm grateful for her friendship. I'm grateful for her, her generosity. And uh, oh, I only wish we lived closer. I, that's all I can say. I, I really, really wish. And I wish I was healthy enough to go visit. My husband actually offered to, to rent an RV. Um... And just drive down there and stay in there because I don't want to stay in a motel anymore either because of the all the bed bug issues and stuff. And uh, I used to work for a pest control company quite a few years ago, and the bed bugs were already getting bad then. And you know we were always told by our by the owner, if you ever stay in a hotel, you know what you got to do before you crawl in that bed. And because they're they're so prevalent now, I just I I don't know I really. I have no desire to stay in a hotel anymore. And I did many years ago. We traveled and we stayed in motels and hotels all the time, but I don't want to do it now. And I'm sorry if I grossed anybody out that has to do it for their job. I didn't mean to, but anyway, so <clears throat> he was going to get an RV and then he said that way when you need to lay down, we can just you can just go in the back and lay down. I don't have to we don't have to find a place to stay or anything. And, I said, yeah, I suppose, I guess, I don't know. So I haven't totally ruled that out yet, but I just wish she lived closer. But we'd probably be partners in crime. I'm pretty sure if Susie and I lived within a short driving distance of each other, we'd be we'd be hitting the, the plant stores and the greenhouses and the thrift stores and the Goodwills and... That, that would be our thing. We'd be doing that every day. Of course, if I didn't have these health issues, I'd still be working. So maybe not. I don't know. But. All right. Let's see what's in here. I don't know what is this top or the bottom. I hope I'm not wrecking this. This is that Travis Ganson that she just got from her son. She's sharing it with me. Wow. Look at the size of that. Oh my god. <clears throat> and they're in good shape, Susie. Look at they didn't even these didn't even get phased. And actually, the Cebu Blue, they're good too. They're a little bit oh, oh, oh. they're a little bit um, soft, but I can tell just by feeling them. As, the min as soon as they get watered, they're going to be fine. So this is all going to get put in water here very shortly. Oh, man. These are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. And I... Did she put the name on? No. Um, there's, there's quite a few different... Um, well, we always called them wandering Jews, but I know there's some people that take issue with that. So, 
if, if I hurt anybody, I apologize, but that's the name that we always went by. And I just say that because these, this color, I have another one that um, I'm going to be showing you guys in the near future. <clears throat> it's, it's probably four feet long now. I, it was a little piece I picked up in spring at a greenhouse when we went shopping for our um, exterior plants. And it was laying on the ground. And I picked it up, and when we got to the register, I pulled it out of my pocket, and I said, um, this was laying on the ground. I didn't steal this. And I'm just wondering if I can take this home and see if I can bring it back to life. And the clerk <laughs> laughed at me, and she said, of course you can. No worries. I said, okay, thank you. But, you know, you got to ask, because there are people that do that. They take little snippings, and I hope you guys aren't one of them, because, you know, that's stealing. And there are people who, who have even said on their on their videos that they'll walk by and take a little snippet of something and and tell the clerk that it fell on the floor. Don't do that. It, it makes for, if you ever get caught, you know, is it really worth it? And, and it gives everybody a bad name, you know. So then they'll start following us around to make sure that none of us are doing that. So I, that's just, just not a good thing to do. But And I know it's tempting because they got this big, huge plant and you had you wanted it for been on your wish list for two years and you can't find it anywhere and you can't afford the forty dollars for the plant so who's going to miss a little three inch snippet i get it but don't do that okay so here this plant is part of a plant that suzette's son uh, he actually bought it for their house or him and his uh, uh fiance's house and they had it outside all summer, and it was it was with two or three other plants. I think it was a um, a wax ivy and a um, tu um, uh, tuberous begonia. I think were in there. Pretty sure, and <clears throat> it was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. Now we thought this was the red one, but I'm going off here. Let's let's first of all, I want to say. Thank you so much for this. I love, love, love this color. Um, she broke it up and repotted hers, and she saved me a bunch of this. She sent me this bunch from that plant. Um, we're both still looking for the red-leafed one. These are more of a, a pinky purple. There is a red leaf, and I think it's called Fire Something. Or something fire. I looked it up the other day. And oh, those are just, they're gorgeous. And uh, we're both looking for one of those. And we're we are going to see who, who finds one. And, and then probably share it with each other. But uh, this is, this is. And it's got a big hunk of root system on it. So i got to push this down a little more. So I don't squish these other plants. Wow. You all kid yourself, girl. Man. Okay. And I'm not to the bottom yet. This is, these leaves are not doing well. This needs to get into, oh, I forgot what this is. This is a cat, it looks like a Kalenkoi. Oh. Or is it a Jade? I forget, did she mark it? Oh, yeah, no, it's a Kalenkoi. Okay, wonderful, but it's, it's losing leaves, yeah. She's not doing too good here. That's right, these are pretty hardy. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, she's going to make it. A lot of yellow leaves on the bottom, but I think it's going to be okay. And this might actually be from being too wet, because I believe these like to dry out in between watering, so that yellowing might be from too much water. So I'm not going to stick these in water. I'm going to put these in soil. But again, 
Uh, I'm going to call my friend Susie before I do anything here because I want to make sure I'm not messing anything up. And She's my go-to girl. She's She's, a, she's an expert, and she, well, I shouldn't say that because she's going to get mad at me for saying that. <clears throat> but she knows a lot about plants. She's been raising plants her whole life, second generation, maybe even third. Um, I believe she did tell me her grandma was, was also a big plant nut, but her mother definitely. And they've got lots and lots of plants, indoor and out. And, you know, occasionally... She'll have a question for me that she doesn't know the answer to, and usually I can let her know. But it's usually about something that she hasn't encountered before, or maybe a plant that she just got, um, like the Pilea peppermoides. I sent her one of those last year, and um, so obviously she's never had one of those. So, yep, she asked me about it. But for the most part, um, we we toss information and we toss things around back and forth to each other. Um, but but when it comes to the real, um, oh, I don't know, I, I don't want to say complicated, but questions about plants that don't come up too often, she usually will say something and it'll be a, an aha moment for me, like, are you sure it doesn't have blah, blah, blah? And I go, oh my goodness, I didn't even think about that, you know, so it's wonderful to have a friend like that that you can chat with and get, you know, exchange information with each other. Oh, it feels like there's more than one in here. I think, I think this is empty. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, this is the other... Oh my god, that's long. Wow. Yeah. This is a uh, wax ivy. This is not, um, I don't believe it's really an ivy. It, it's, they call it a wax ivy, but I don't think it's really an ivy. Look at the stems on there. Can you see that pink and purple? Aren't these gorgeous? It doesn't look like the leaves. No, they're no, they're they're not gonna make it. But the plant will make it. I don't, I don't believe the roots. I hope the roots aren't dead. Some of them are still. Um, it's still pretty wet though. I don't want to put this in water. I think this needs to dry out. So, I'm going to lay this on the table here. And I'm going to open up the bag and let some air get in here. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's still very, very wet. And the leaves are very wet. The leaves are like soggy, so it definitely does not need water. But it's all right. I'm pretty sure I can salvage some, if not most, of that plant. And again, not her fault. It was in the mail for eight days. So what are you going to do? <clears throat> well, I'm going to have to take a break anyway, so I'm going to take a break and I'm going to give her a call real quick and see what she says about these and then I'm going to cut them up and I'll give you an overall view of everything once I have them in the vessels that they're going to go in okay so that's that's it uh, my, for my huge plant haul. I'm so, so grateful for everything she has sent me and all the work that she went through to not only to send them, but to root them. I mean, she's been rooting these plants for months because she said, you know, they ship better when they got the roots already on them. 
And that's true, but I know how much work that is. So I appreciate you so much. Thank you so, so much. I'm, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed, really. Overwhelmed. But, again, you know, when you have friends like that, uh, they're rare and they're hard to find. I, I had a friend who once said to me that his father told him, if you are lucky enough to have one really good friend in your life, you're doing better than most. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. I think it's, you know, we have friends for a season. Um, I had a lot of people come in and out of my life that I thought would be my friend forever. And that turned out, it, that did not turn out that way. And um, for some of them I was sad about and some of them I was glad that it worked out that way. But I really learned over the years that I think people are put in our lives for a reason and uh, they can it can be a variety of things reasons why and some we may not even ever know about but um, for me she has been such a godsend because well, if you guys watch my other videos you'll you'll know why I'm not going to go into all that again but I do want to just give her a special shout out please people if you if you haven't already subscribed or watched Suzette's Gardens, please please go and watch and uh, subscribe to her channel if you like it. I mean, I know that's it's not for everybody and that's okay too, but at least give it a shot and you'll learn a lot and she's got a lot of beautiful plants and you'll be helping her out too. So, all right, well, let's call it a day for now. Or not a day, but... I don't know what you would call it. Call it an hour. <laughs> I will be back <clears throat> very shortly. And, well, it'll be shortly for you, but not for me. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the potting up of all of my gorgeous, gorgeous plants. In the meantime, you all have a great day. Take care. Bye now.